Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below addresses the servants and brings them and draws them to the presence and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad that no doubt that Prophet began to pray upon them and their souls and Allah began to wash away every type of difficulty and perfecting them through their soul and through their body inshaAllah being washed and cleansed. Last 10 days at Qumin an is to be free from hellfire that again no doubt following Sayyidina Siratul Mustaqeem that the name of Sayyidina Muhammad one of many names, <coughs> endless and infinite names is Siratul Mustaqeem, Sayyidina Siratul Mustaqeem that inna fatanaka fathan mubeenan liyakfirakallahu ma taqaddam min dhanbika ta'akhar yutamah nihmatuhu alayka fa siratal mustaqeema wa yansurukallahu nasran aziza. Fatan mubeen the immense opening is Sayyidina Muhammad When Allah is saying, we have granted you an opening. That opening is the arrival and the appearance of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah's immense rahmah, Allah's immense secret that He brought upon the earth to reveal its identity and its reality No doubt Allah then describing it's an immense opening that is the clear opening of the deen of Allah that all prophets were waiting for that arrival. When Allah asked in Holy Qur'an and told every prophet in their agency of Risalat that if your boss comes, if he comes, if Sayyidina Muhammad comes in your time you are to follow him. And they said, qalu bala, yes, means that your prophecy is nothing in the appearance of the prophecy of my beloved Sayyidina Muhammad for he is the Khalifa of Allah Everyone else is his Khalifa, is his representative because it's Ati Allah wa Ati Rasul and the most authorized one that Allah is thinking about in this ayat al kareem is Sayyidina Muhammad Not think about any other prophet. That my obedience, my ittiba, my complete submission, no one can hear me but Sayyidina Muhammad <coughs> If no one can hear but Sayyidina Muhammad he hears Allah So then who do they hear? Because mm. like an energy, when Allah says, my speech. If I send my qul to the mountain, it will be ghashiya. For us to understand, oh you insan and, and humans that more bigger than anything you can imagine a mountain, if my speech hits the mountain it will be dust. But when it comes to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad it's firm. So then in our understandings and haqqaiqs and all our awliyaullah teachings is that Allah speaks only to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad. So then who did they hear? They heard Prophet And that's why Nabi Musa and his marifah is his wanting to reach to realities, his understanding. The one whom he's hearing he wants more yaqeen. This beatific reality of what I'm hearing, I want the yaqeen to see you. And one whom is above all the understanding of awliyaullah, kalimullah, of course he knows he's not dealing with Allah He was asking for an audience with Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah said, I'm going to send you to the mountain and what I reveal I'm going to send from my glory, my Subhan. 
at that time we see in Allah's glory is the light of Sayyidina Muhammad and he met his Rabb. At that time he met his Rabb and became Muhammadiyun. Said, I'm going to now قُلْ إِنَا الصَّلَاةِ وَأَحْنَ سُوْقِي وَأَحْمَ يَاهِيَ وَمَمَّاتِ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ وَنَا أَوَلَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Sayyidina Ibrahim said the same. Sayyidina Isa السلام, was so astonished by its reality, didn't want to die to meet Sayyidina Muhammad but said, No Ya Rabbi give me to Lur Aum that keep me alive to witness the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi to be from the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad so that you raise me from the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad not raise me as a Prophet of Allah means completely effaced to be nothing in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad So then no doubt, at Qumina Nar is that Prophet's dress and blessing upon his nation that I dress you and bless you and that you kept this way of ours, struggle through its difficulty and all its obstacles that the love of Sayyidina Muhammad dress us, bless us, perfect us and keep us far from the difficulties of fire. But enter into the fire of ishq and muhabbat, that, that fire of ishq and muhabbat not a fire anymore that burns but I put this fire, not a fire that burn your physicality but a fire of ishq and muhabbat, the real nard that he put into the heart of the believer. Awliyaullah achieved the light from Sayyidina Muhammad in their heart, what we call a diya which is nahar which is a nar, it's a fire, it's not a reflection. Their heart became lit with an eternal flame. Their heart is a diya, it's producing light. Nurun Allah, nur, a light upon light. Its source they don't understand, it comes from the heavens and from Allah to Prophet from Prophet to Ulur Am. And Allah made their heart a diya, a shams and their face and their head became a qamar. Their heart is a light and their face is a nur. The heart is a sun that produces light and it reflects to the face to become a nur. So that's called Minan Nar is Ya Rabbi take us away from the fire of burning and the fire of bad character and the fire that we put upon other people and bring that fire into my heart to be a, a fire of patience, of consist constancy, to be consistent in what we are doing and it become a fire of ishq and muhabbat. It become an eternal flame that it's lit and blessed by these duruds and these nas. Its praisings are the fuel for the fire within the heart of ashaqeen. As soon as they praise their heart is burning like a, like a charcoal and nothing is satisfying their heart. Nothing from this world that Allah gives to them for entertainment is satisfying to their heart until they begin to make durood al-sharif and begin to make praisings upon Allah and His beloved Sayyidina Muhammad As a result Allah released like a fragrance upon their heart like a atar, it hits the bukhur and the fire and begin to emanate a fragrance. That fragrance has made the world to be drunk and lost in its state of love. Malaika come for that fragrance, mu'min jinn come for that fragrance. Awliyaullah come for that fragrance to be lost and to quench their divine thirst. They're stranded in this desert of dunya and they move from oasis to oasis. 
everything in this dunya is stranding them, is tiring them, is exhausting them, is making them sick. Even along the way like a caravan Allah sends beatific fruits, they don't live bad. Well, I don't know who thought that pious people were supposed to be poor. The whole of dunya is under their control and under their command. You may have seen too many Christian movies where they're supposed to take a vow of poverty. No, 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 there's no vow of poverty. Allah gave the entire wealth of dunya under their command. It doesn't satisfy them. It doesn't bring them the satisfaction that they were looking for because their satisfaction is only in the zikr of Allah So they walk through this dunya like a desert and they're moving, moving, moving. And only the zikr, only the praising brings a, an oil and a refreshment into their heart. As soon as they praise they begin to feel the energy and the glory of Allah and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad that illuminates. We pray that Allah grant us the freedom from this fire of dunya and, and it's all its attachments and to drink and to quench our thirst from the nectar of His love, from the reality of His Divinely love inshaAllah. That Allah knows that we are running out of time. We pray that Allah grant us that rahmah, grant us that blessing that time is short Ya Rabbi. Times are coming to an end, grant us and complete your ni'mat and all your favours upon us. Not because of us and our actions, our actions are weak but because of the love we have for Sayyidina Muhammad and the mighty power that you have given to Sayyidina Muhammad If you say, yes, immediately Prophet will lift and take the servant. All it requires Ya Rabbi that you grant the approval, Hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basira Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.